playtime with Gita. <laughs> ABCs of Mathematics, Edition Base Code, written by Chris Ferry. A is for addition. Addition is the mathematics of counting. We use the plus symbol for addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. We use the minus symbol for subtraction. B is for base. A base number is a number being multiplied by itself many times. An exponent is the number of times the base is being multiplied. Rather than writing 2 times 2 times 2, we write 2 to the power of 3. The number 2 is the base and 3 is the exponent. C is for chord. A chord is a straight line inside of a circle. Chords are used in geometry and trigonometry. Each end of a chord touches the circle. If the chord passes through the centre of the circle, it is called the diameter. D is for division. Division is the mathematics of fair sharing. Division separates something into equal parts. The number being divided is the dividend. The number used to divide by is the divisor. Division is the inverse, opposite, of multiplication. E is for equation. An equation is a mathematical statement that one thing is equal to another. Equations used to equals a symbol. To say that the left side is the same as the right side. For example, 3 plus 3 equals 6. The numbers on the left are equal to the number on the right. F is for focus. The focus is the point where reflected lines meet. A magnifying lens has a focus for light passing through it. Changing the geometry of the shape changes where the focus is. A focus is also used to change the power of magnifying mirrors. G is for golden ratio. The golden ratio is a number equal to about 1.618. The golden ratio appears often in mathematics, nature and even art. The golden ratio is given as the symbol phi. The length of the sides of each square above gets smaller by a ratio of phi. H is for hypotenuse. A hypotenuse is the longer side of a right triangle. A right triangle has one ninety degree square angle. The side of the triangle opposite this angle is called the hypotenuse. I is for infinity. Infinity is the word to describe the idea of being bigger than any number. Infinity itself is not a number. Infinity is one of the first abstract ideas in mathematics. J is for joint probability. Joint probability is the likelihood of two different events happening at the same time. If two coins were flipped into the air, the joint probability of both coins landing with heads up is a quarter. K is for knot. A knot is a closed loop. In mathematics, the two ends of a knot are joined together and cannot be undone. The basic knot is a circle shape. Some knots can be unwound to look like a circle and others cannot. L is for limit. A limit is the value that a sequence approaches but never reaches. A sequence of balls can go on for infinity, getting closer and closer to a line but never crossing it. This line is the limit of the sequence. M is for matrix. A matrix is a table of numbers. Matrices are used in the area of mathematics called linear algebra. They can be written surrounded by brackets or parentheses. N is for null set. The null set is the set of things with nothing in it. Seems weird, doesn't it? But it is in fact used to create math itself. O is for one-to-one. One-to-one is a special mathematical map. 
A map is a pairing of things from two different sets. In a one-to-one -one map, each item in each set has only one partner. P is for prime. A prime number is divisible only by one in itself. Examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Composite numbers are those that can be evenly divided by other numbers. For example, the number 4 can be divided evenly by 1, 2 and 4. Q is for quadrangle. Any shape with exactly four sides is called a quadrangle. Quadrangles have straight sides and four angles. A square is an example of a quadrangle. R is for root. Root is the shortened way of saying square root. The square root of a number is another number that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. For example, the root of 9 is 3, since 3 times 3 is 9. S is for subset. The subset is a smaller part of a larger group. If all the things in one set are contained in a larger set, it is called a subset. Subsets help break complicated groups down to simpler building blocks. T is for torus. A torus is a three-dimensional donut shape. It is a basic building block in the study of topology. Topology is the study of mathematical shapes as they are twisted and transformed. U is for union. The union of two sets is another set that contains the elements of both. Unions and intersections of sets behave like an addition and subtraction of numbers. V is for variable. A variable is used in equations when a number is unknown. Variables are quantities that can change and take on different values. In this equation, both x and y are variables. W is for whole number. Whole numbers are the counting numbers including zero. Whole numbers have no fractions or decimal. Whole numbers are not less than zero and are not negative. X is for x-axis. The straight line going left to right on the graph is the x-axis. Relationships between two variables can be shown on a graph. Graphs can help to depict things like lines, angles and curves. The points plotted on the graph are called coordinates. Y is for y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where a line or curve crosses the vertical axis on the graph. The vertical line on the graph is called the y-axis. When a line or curve crosses the y-axis, the x-coordinate is equal to zero. Z is for zero. Zero means nothing. Whole numbers represent an amount of something. But zero means there is no amount to count. It is also used to a placeholder to show that something is missing. I hope you enjoy this book and you've learned something new today. And don't forget, be good for mommy and daddy and subscribe. Bye bye. Thank you for watching and listening. You've been so good. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Subscribe and be good.